Hey everyone, today I'm trying something a little different. I had initially thought I was gonna do this whole big haul on white jeans and white pants for summer, but apparently everybody wants to buy white jeans and white pants for summer because the most popular recommendations are pretty much sold out all over the internet. Wouldn't do me much good to recommend you pants or jeans that you can't actually get, and neither can I. So what I decided to do instead is rank from least favorite to most favorite my current collection of white jeans and white pants options for summertime. And when I say least favorite to most favorite, I like all of them, but I had to do some sort of ranking, so here we go. Before I get to the ranking portion of this video, I wanna walk you through what I'm currently wearing and why. So this is a typical outfit that I would wear in the summer months. Even though it is warm here in San Antonio, Texas, I still like to wear pants most of the time. This material that I'm wearing in these pants is super lightweight and very comfortable to wear, and obviously this blouse is very breezy. And a typical pairing that I do in the summer months is a colorful top paired with some sort of navy bottom. And I'm pointing this out because I want you to notice what happens when I swap out navy colored bottoms for something white, how that affects the top. One more important thing to note about white jeans before we move into the rankings and the try-on is that white jeans fit differently and feel differently than standard colored denim. And I'll get into that as we get into the try-on. But I am gonna put my current measurements on the screen because this is going to influence the sizing that I pick and may help you determine if you're shopping online the size that will work best for you. All right, let's start with my least favorite of all of my white options. These are from Spanx. I am wearing the petite size medium. Their sizing is fantastic, extra small to 3X, and they also have petite, regular, and tall inseams. Spanx runs long, so I am five foot four. I always get petite length. Now, with white jeans also, white pants, shorts, I always size up one from whatever I normally wear in the non-white version from that brand. So with Spanx bottoms, I'm usually a petite small. I went up to a petite medium in the white jeans. Why? <laughs> white jeans, unlike regular jeans, show every bump, every flaw. The tighter, the worse it gets. So you want a little more room than you normally would, or you are definitely gonna look like a can of biscuits busting out at the seams. So that's why the medium. There is hidden tummy shaping here, which is nice, always nice, especially if you are over 40, or in my case, 50. One of the things I don't love, no front pockets. I am someone who doesn't know what to do with their hands. This makes me crazy. I never use my front pockets to hold anything except my hands or my thumbs when I am just standing around awkwardly. So for me, that is one big reason why I don't love these as much as some of the other options I'm going to talk about. It does have functional back pockets, which is nice, very handy, literally. The other reason why I don't love this pull-on style is it just, when you tuck something in, it just kind of I don't know, it just, visually, it just seems a little bit off to me. It's better if you wear a belt and blouse out the top a little bit. It makes it look less obvious that you're missing a fly. That is just my personal preference. Another bonus to these is they are lined, hopefully you can see this, with a sort of nude silvery lining so there's no show through, which is fantastic. Another positive about these is that it sits at the natural waist, which really helps avoid any kind of muffin top, especially with white jeans and everything shows. So why these are at the bottom of my list, even though I do like these and wear them, is the pull-on part. Sometimes to get them on, you have to do a little bit of a Spanx shimmy to get it up over your hips. Once they're on, they're comfortable. I don't feel constricted. I don't feel like I'm wearing shapewear, but it is just one of those things, especially if you run to the bathroom a lot. And the absence of a fly and fasteners here, to me, visually, feels very odd. So that is my first option for you in white jeans. All right, the second pair of jeans, second from the bottom, so a little bit higher up in my ranking, are these jeans from Vervet. These are the Ivy jeans, and I'm keeping it real. These are wrinkled for a reason. 
two reasons. One, when I ordered these jeans, I was in between sizes. I couldn't decide if I was a 29 or 28. I have lost about five, six pounds since I ordered them, so I'm probably more likely the size 28. We're gonna find out in a minute because I'm gonna go try them on. So they are gonna wrinkle a little bit more because they are a little too big on me. Also, these are at the bottom of my laundry hamper because one of the reasons that I have a little pet peeve about white everything is it gets dirty a lot quicker. At least it shows the dirt. If I can't see it, I don't care if it's there or not. So these need to hit the wash. One of the reasons they're my least favorite is that jeans with distressing and raw hems are very polarizing among you, my friends that are watching. Some of you love a pair of distressed jeans and some of you really do not. So to avoid some comments, I generally avoid distressed jeans. I think distressed jeans are great in moderation and especially in the summer because denim is still warmer than most of the other fabrics I would prefer to wear in the summertime. I like the placement of the distressing or the holes in my jeans here. They're just at the knees. They're not all over the place. A little bit on the front of part of the pocket but not at the back. My backside is not showing. I do like a raw hem, especially if you need to make your jeans shorter. You don't need to run to a tailor, a good pair of scissors, and you can handle it on your own. So. What do I love about them? I love the rise on this. It's a little bit mid high rise. It's not a full on high high rise, but it sits just at my belly button, which I like any higher and it starts to really emphasize the mom gut. I like that this is the traditional fly closure with a zipper, functional pockets in the front and in the back, even with the little hole here. These are a lot softer than the Spanx jeans because these are 98% cotton, hello Rowdy, and 2% spandex. And one thing to note in the sizing guide that I neglected to read before I ordered these for myself is that once broken in, these will give about a half size. So if you're in between sizes, probably go with your true size. And after you wear it once or twice around the house, they should be sufficiently broken in. But let's go see. I'm gonna go grab the 28s and see if that makes a difference. Okay, these are the 28s. I still have the tags on. I'm still on the fence to give, return them or not. I might just need to wear them around the house carefully so that they don't get dirty to see if they do give a little bit more. But I wanna get a little closer so you can see. There is some pulling right here. And I mean, I think they're okay but I feel them pulling or tight even around the backs of the knees. I don't think anyone should wear something that they're on the fence about. So let's hop to the next one up on the list and keep moving towards my absolute favorites. Okay, we have a new pair of jeans. These are third up from the bottom and they are the same brand, that Vervet line. Love that line if you can find it. The difference is, well, a few. First of all, if you notice, these are what I would call clean. There's no distressing. It's a finished hem. It has about an inch lower rise. So the distressed version had a nine to 11 inch rise, depending on sizing. These started an eight inch rise. So a little bit below the belly button. And I feel like that fit flatters my shape a little bit more. I am an hourglass shape with a little bit of a mom pooch. And so a mid rise is definitely more flattering on me than a high rise. It is a little bit different in the breakdown of what, how much cotton and other stuff. I'll pop that over on the screen there so you can see. Everything else is pretty much the same. And so why do I prefer these? They fit a little bit better. They aren't pulling, but they aren't wrinkling up and gathering in other places like the distressed ones are. That might be because there's less structure because there's literal holes in the legs so the, there will be more movement in the jeans. That's probably the case. But I just feel a little bit more confident with these. I think this looks a little neater. And maybe it's me, but I'm not enjoying distressed jeans as much as I used to. You guys are rubbing off on me. As far as sizing tips on this one goes, these run more true to size. You don't have to break them in to stretch them out. I do still recommend going up the full size from what you normally are. So I'm normally a 28 in vervet jeans or however you pronounce it, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. I'm wearing these in a 29. I have one more pair of jeans before I have two other pant options and these are the standouts. So hang on, let me change into my favorite white jean option for summer. All right, these are number one. These are my most favorite white jeans, especially for spring and summer. And speaking of summer, I'm racing the sun that is moving across this room. So I'm gonna go through this as fast as I can. These are the Chico's So Slimming Slim Fit Straight Ankle Jeans. 
I am wearing them in Chico sizing 0.5 and everyone else's sizing. This would be considered a size six in the petite length option. I love these. Weirdly, these have the lowest amount of cotton. So 61% cotton and then the rest is spandex and polyester and all that stuff. So these are the softest of all the options. They do give a lot. They are meant and made to give and move with your body. So less squeezing, less tugging, and less wrinkling. Because of that formulation, less bagging, less sagging, there is a little bit of subtle tummy control here, not as much as the Sphinx. Another reason why I absolutely love these, aside from I feel like they fit the best and they feel the best, is these have some sort of stain repel technology. So they last longer as far as they stay whiter longer, up to 20 times more washes, and they also repel water-based stains. So if you're like me and you live with dogs that are always nosing up against you, or you're just generally a little bit of a messier person and you seem to attract stains, this kind of material is going to be the preferred one. I also like that it is sized, because it's Chico's, sized more for a mature woman's body shape, and it sits at the natural waist. So again, similar to the Spanx, less of an opportunity for muffin top or love handles to hang over. But I absolutely love how these feel. They make me feel really confident, and I love that these are also machine washable. Now, if you're thinking white jeans look great, I love how they make the colors in your shirt pop. However, denim is too hot for me to wear in the summer. I get you, I feel you. I will admit I reserve white jeans for evenings when the temperature has dropped. I have two more white pants options that are not denim that I think you're gonna love. Now I'm not ranking my denim alternative options because I love both of them and they're very different. First, I have shared these a little bit over on Instagram. Our pants I've been wearing for years, I just finally bit the bullet and got them in white. These are from White House Black Market and these are just cotton pants. But basically they're designed to be worn with flats or heels and they're great for pedicures because you can hike them up that's why there's the word petty in the name of these pants. You can also choose to unsnap the cuffs and unroll them if you don't love the cropped length. So a little bit more versatility in these. I am generally a size four in the options that come in colors. I have them in black, I have them in olive, I have them in a couple pairs of pink that I don't think they make anymore. But again, with all things white, I went up to a size six and now they offer them in curvy fit. So I'm wearing these in the size six curvy fit, which they might be a little bit roomy, but I think they fit just perfectly. And especially in this kind of heat, I don't want anything too tight and too clingy. That's a quick way to get overheated. As far as fit goes, these are the curvy fit, but they also come in a regular fit and a petite fit. These are built to go straight from the hip down. So these are more of a straight leg option. They also have several inseams, regular, short, and tall. And like I mentioned, they come in a lot of colors. These are a staple in my spring, summer, and even into the fall because it stays warm here so long. And here comes that sun. So let me swap these out for something that is really appropriate to wear in the sunshine and that summer heat. First of all, if you've stuck with me this long in the video, thank you. And even though the lighting has not been fantastic, I'm never gonna complain about sunshine. If you like these kinds of videos and you wanna see them with even better lighting, make sure you are subscribed where I assure you most of my videos are better lit. Okay, this is my last option to share with you as far as white bottoms. And I think if you live anywhere where it gets really hot or you get really hot, you are going to love these. These are 100% linen white joggers from Athleta. And as you can see, while you can see the pocket outline, you cannot see any kind of underwear or anything like that. These are a little bit of a slim fit slash straight leg. So they run to skim the hips and then kind of taper down almost straight. So a little more of a relaxed fit, not a full on wide leg, which I think looks a little more tailored and put together. As far as the linen goes, I live in linen throughout the summer and I find that the Athleta linen pieces wrinkle less than some of the other options that I have tried. 
So once you steam them out of the laundry, you're good to go for a few wears. You don't need to re-steam them. These do have functional pockets in the front that actually zip close, which I really appreciate if you ever do need to put something and you don't want it to fall out. It also has back pockets that are currently sewn closed and I have not bothered to un do the stitching here, so they are currently lying flat. The sizing at Athleta is fantastic. They have sizes zero to 26, and they have regular, tall, and petite inseams. And unlike every other pair of pants that we have talked about today, keep with your true size. I am a size four across the board in Athleta bottoms. They run big, but they run consistently, and I have these joggers in black. I have them, obviously, in the white, and I have them in a chambray all size four and they all fit exactly the same. These are also, if I haven't mentioned, machine washable. I don't throw them in the dryer and then I steam them to get the wrinkles out. Those are my favorite options, ranked from least favorite to most favorite and a couple other extras as far as white denim goes for summer. I would love to hear from you. If you have one of these brands, are they on your favorites list? And if you have a pair of white jeans that aren't on this list, I wanna know about them. Hopefully, I can get my hands on them. I just wanna give a shout out to the Cut From The Cloth Catherine Boyfriend Jeans were one of the most recommended by you. Unfortunately, sold out pretty much everywhere. The Sophia jeans and the Scoop jeans, both in white from Walmart, were also at the very top of the list, also sold out everywhere. So I'm going to keep my eyes open and if I find anything new throughout the summer, I will share those in future videos. So be sure you are subscribed. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you're staying cool and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!